Well, if this patient, like all the other ones in the study, was very sick. His cancer was impervious to everything that they tried. So the young man that I met with, his name is Nick Wilkins. He lives in Virginia, and he had had chemotherapy. He was diagnosed at age four. You see him here, right, at age four. Chemotherapy, and it came back. He then got a bone marrow transplant from his older sister, and still the cancer came back. He and his parents were at the end of the road. There was nothing left for them to try when they found out about this clinical trial at Children's Hospital of Pennsylvania. And he got the treatment in May, and it's December, and he is now cancer-free. And, of course, everyone is praying that he doesn't relapse like he did before. Now, it's interesting when you talked about the common cold. The way that this treatment works is that it teaches Nick's immune system to get rid of cancer like we get rid of a cold. When you have a cold, somehow your immune cells, they know how to see the cold and how to attack it. And so this treatment teaches Nick's cells how to see cancer and how to attack it. But you know what, Wolf, I'm going to actually let Nick explain it. They took out T cells out of my body and then they engineered them to kind of track down the cancer cells and kill them off. Did they get them? I hope so. I'm feeling good now, so I think they did pretty well. Now, Wolf, they tried this treatment in 59 patients total, and it worked in 25 of them. They still are cancer-free. Some of them have been cancer-free for more than three years and counting. Wolf? Well, let's hope for the best. Uh, sounds pretty significant to me. Elizabeth, thanks very much.